Okay, you see the 77 of Curtis Day is getting to turn one. Oh, he just moves up into the back of Timothy Peters, loses it, loses his downforce, causes him to spin up into Timothy Peters and causes this big wreck. Andy, it looks like he just got in high, though. It looks like he couldn't get, it looks like Curtis Davis couldn't get that car down. Robbie Gordon in that 55 car, he races his teammate pretty hard through one and two. He's trying to get back on the lead lap. Meanwhile, Jamie McMurray in the 30 car eases into turn three, gets a run on the bottom. Robbie Gordon carries Harvick all the way to the top of the racetrack. Oh, boy. Those are uh, supposedly teammates uh, sometime. Not today, though. We ran a whole nether lap side by side. And in the meantime, I probably should have backed off because it's like, I realize now Kenny must not think I'm a lap, 10 laps down. He must think I'm one and trying to get a lap back. Now, I didn't think all this was going to happen. I think it now. But um, at the time, all I could think of was, okay, they said drive the wheels off of it. I'm driving it, you know. And um, so we went into turn three, start to come off in the middle of three, and I got loose. Kenny got loose. We never touched, but we both started spinning at the same time. And, um, you know, now we got the whole pack coming in. And I think there was 12 or 13 cars piled up in that wreck. And, and um, when I look back on it now, it was, it was unfortunate that it happened. And I could have prevented it by being smart and patient. A lap car, you, ought to, you should, you know, expect a little more than that from them. Disappointing night for a man who calls Nashville home now. Vince? Hmm. Scott Legacy Jr., that was uh, the 15 of Michael Lynette that got into the back of Legacy. I was referring to that, a heartbreaking night for the Baker Curb team with that contact involving Legacy and then the 27 to Scott Wimmer. There he is on the right of the screen. 66, he's got his tires like, got his Ooh. tires locked up smoking, but he goes right up into Dale Jr. That's not the first time we've seen a situation and, like that. And you know, it just tells you they can't get any grip in those front tires. There's a perfect indication of it. Put the brakes on, the car doesn't go down and lock up. It just slides right up the hill like it's on, on ice. With him being in the middle of the pack, pretty lucky no one got into it. You can see say. Matt Kenseth in the 17, yep. not sure which way he wants to well, go. Well, he right doesn't there. have any idea where Junior is. He just listened to his spotter, I'm sure, right there. Kept those wheels spinning, kept the car off the wall. See right there, Robert Richardson just get loose down on the inside. Spins. Ryan Truex just has nowhere to go. Well, he did tag him in the door, though. Nope. was running in 21st position on the lead lap. The 23 car was 34th, two laps down. Tony Range is kind of caught in the middle there, and Shelby Howard gets into him, and they get together again. Kenny Wallace gets through, but not Brendan Gone, and not the 38 of Casey Kane. Justin Allgaier, bam. Well, things, as we said, just happen so quickly here. You've got basically one chance to try to make a move, and those guys just didn't have enough room. See, Elliot Sadler right here. I believe he was maybe trying to get to pit road. Oh, man. Yep. Oh, that's, a, that's a bad break oh. right there. I'll tell you what. Brett Butler. That's, that's, what do you think, Dale? That's a, that's, a, that's a mistake on Butler's part. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and, and you know, just fact of not running at these speeds uh, very often can contribute to something exactly like that and unfortunately it's Elliot Sadler getting that. Butler's making his third nationwide start. It's not going to go down in the record books as a very good one. As Terry Labonte tries to clear Brett Bodine. Well actually you know Terry uh, Terry had him cleared off of turn four and I just don't think that uh, he expected Brett to come back and, and drive in that hard once he got by him. And I think that's the difference, Daryl. Here you'll see again from Dale Jr. Watch the position of the yellow line, watch Brett's car, and watch Labonte coming around the outside here. Yeah, that, that happened pretty early on the straightaway, actually. But again, I think Terry was, was ahead of him and, and had no idea that Brett would run in under him that hard. All right, as you go down straight away, you go into turn one, the 06 runs into the back of them as you're turning into the corner. You don't really want to do that because you'll crash a guy if you hit him like that. And then you might get another guy too. And then you'll get a few other people involved in the wreck. And, Tenny, and Kenny was running 
you know, this is the bad part about it. You know, Reagan is three laps down. Kenny Schrader is running in the top 10. You just took out a guy in the top 10.